Welcome back to Solid Cam video tutorial. In this session, we're going to be learning quite a few things. And uh, one thing off the bat, if you look at the drawing or the solid model that you see in front of you, you're going to notice that it's going to have two parts. We're going to be machining the top part and we're going to be machining the bottom part, which means you're going to need two setups in machining. And we're going to learn how to set that up in this exercise. Okay, so open up your exercise number two. It is included in your exercise files. Once you have that open, come over here under solid cam, new, and milling. Okay, the new milling part shows up. I'm going to keep my options the same and click on OK. This will set up my part in solid cam and give me the milling data, milling parts uh, data configuration for exercise number two. Now, for the CNC machine, like I said, we're going to keep, keep that as uh, 1000 FANUC as a default. And I'm going to keep my program number at 5000. For this one, I'm going to skip coordinate system to show you guys something different. For the stock and target model, come over here and select stock. Okay, now because you haven't selected a coordinate system, under defined by, you're only going to be able to use a box. Uh, there's about five different options if you actually select the coordinate system. But since you do not have that selected, you only are limited to the box. Now the way we do this is come down here under type, select both, and just select your model. Once you have that selected, it's going to draw a box around your entire model. Now obviously, like I said before, you do not want to start with the same dimensional box that you're going to be machining. You want that to be expanded in all directions a little bit. So you need to make sure that you machine all around the box, all around the part. So come down over here under expand box at, and let's add 100 thou under every single, in every single direction. As you update these, you're going to see the lines expand a little bit. As you can see over here, it expanded 0.1. So the box is expanding in all directions. Okay. And under the Z, in the last one, I'm going to add 0.25. So I'm going to add a little bit extra. Once you have that selected, click on add box to CAD model. And it's going to update it by keeping that box around the CAD model. This is essential for your next step. So make sure you have add box to CAD model selected. It will be grayed out once it's clicked. Now that you have that done, click on OK. And let's come over here under coordinate system and click on define. OK, I'm going to select the define option of the coordinate system. And this is the same way we've done in the previous exercise. So we're going to select an origin, an X axis, and a Y axis direction. So we're going to we're going to do that by come over here and flip your part actually to this side. I'm going to select my origin. This is going to be my X axis. And this is going to be my Y axis. Once you have that selected, click on OK. And you're going to see your part flip with the coordinate system data dialog box will appear. Now what we want to do next is we want to select, we're going to come down here under default machine levels and we're going to select the bottom surface that we're going to machine in this one, which is called part lower level. So select part lower level and just flip your part and select this level. We're basically telling SolidCam that this is the bottom surface that we're still going to be machining. Okay, once you have that selected, click on OK. And it will update the value of the depth of that. So we know from the top of that box to the bottom is going to be negative 0.85. Once you have that done, click on OK. And then come over here under Coordinate System Manager and then click on OK. OK, under Target, come over here under Target and click on Target. And you only need to make sure that the target is selected. So in this example, it is, it is selected. And that's why you don't have an option to update it or press OK because you already have your solid selected. If it's not for any reason, Select your box anywhere on the model and then click on the check mark. So click on the X button and then click on OK. And this sets up your part to start your first setting up your first operation, which we will start in our next session.